YouTube, I'm Rudy Vadim, KG5, IWQ here with a, I guess you could say, real life energy sword. Um, man, this is pretty cool. Here we go. So it's the same transformer setup as the last time, except I'm just using two, not three. Um, so this is 24,000 volts on my Halo energy sword. And for, the, for, those of you, uh, for those of you who do not know what Halo is, it's a video game, and the Halo sword, or the energy sword, is a sword that is uh, uses utilizes the power of plasma to destroy its victims, I guess. And in the Halo books, I was reading um, people would get stabbed with the real thing, and they wouldn't die for about ten to fifteen minutes because the heat of the blade would actually cauterize their wounds, and they wouldn't bleed. They'd just be they'd die of uh, missing vital organs. So, kind of gory history of that one, but a real energy sword is not, as of right now, um, possible, because we do not know how to harness plasma yet, but here is my best recreation of the energy sword from Halo. So, interesting. Um, maybe I can utilize this and hold it with high voltage gloves, which would be really cool. Uh, I have some gloves like that around here somewhere. I gotta find them, but I will definitely give it a try later on. Uh, I just gotta be very confident that my gloves are capable of withstanding 24,000 volts. So, um, I'm gonna have to have some sort of padding or a uh, standoff right there, because that's just way too dangerous to put your hand next to for now. But, uh, and then, of course, these screws are also drilled into the metal, so they're going to have to be dealt with. Um, but they are not energy swords, or at least the metal ones like this one are not shorted on the handle. I thought they were. They are not. So I have some more research to do with it, but uh, this is my furthest model and uh, progression. But yep, that's about it. Pretty quick video. Just wanted to show you this. Pretty cool. Okay, guys. KG5, IWQ, Arbiter G Fatum, 73.